with love. Think about its goodness. Think about its grace that brought us through. For and I as the heavens above, thou great is the pleasure of our forefathers. Love.
Hallelujah. Just give him praise. Hallelujah. By praising him is one way that we can show the Lord that we love him. Can we just lift our hands in this atmosphere? Hallelujah. And show the Lord some love. We are grateful for his many blessings towards us. Hallelujah. He is indeed a good God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know about you today, but one songwriter puts it so good for me. Falling in love with Jesus is the best thing that I've ever done. Hallelujah. And I love that song because indeed it is what my heart says. The best thing that I've ever done is falling in love with Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we just love him today? Hallelujah. 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 We thank God for leading us thus far. And we are going to begin, officially begin our day's worship. Or the worship part of our day's service. Amen. And we're going to read Psalm, begin by reading Psalm 139. Reading from verse 1 to verse 18. Psalm 139. And I'll read while you follow. Amen. The theme says, chosen of God and special. Hallelujah. And I believe this scripture tells us how special we are in the sight of the Lord based on the fact that he knows so much about us. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 139, 1 to verse 18. And it reads, O Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my down sitting and mine uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar off. Thou compassest my path and my, and my line down and art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, thou knowest it altogether. Thou hast beset me behind and before and laid thine hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain unto it. Whither shall I go from thy spirit, or whither shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. For thou hast possessed my reins. Thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul know it right well. My substance was not hid from thee when I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect, and in thy book all my members were written, which in continuance were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How precious are thy thoughts unto me, O God! How great is the sum of them. 18 and ending. If I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. When I wake, I am still with thee. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord. Amen. We serve today a God who has created us, who, have, who has designed us and made us into special beings. And today the scripture allows us to know that he knows everything about us you know in this world we tend to want to have friends who you know know everything about us but guess what some of the times some they even fail but here we are today consider yourself special that you have a friend a god hallelujah who knows just everything about you hallelujah can we just lift our hands and worship him today Hallelujah. He knows our down sitting or uprising. The thoughts even before we think about them. He knows it. That's the God that we serve. That's how much he loves us and cares for us and prepares for us. Hallelujah. 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 We are going to be singing from the Pentecostal hymnal. Number one, five, three. Sorry. Oh, the children of the Lord have a right to shout and sing that one. 
We are never, never weary of a grand old song. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Number 153 from the Pentecostal hymnal. Number 153. We are never, never weary of a grand old song. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, the way is always right, and our souls are on the 
Lord has adopted us. Hallelujah. So we have all right. Hallelujah. In this kingdom of God, hallelujah, we thank God. At this time, I'll ask our pastor, Elder Channer, to open for us in prayer. In Jesus' name. Let us pray. Righteous, eternal God and Father, God who art in heaven, our Lord and our Christ, our Savior and our Redeemer and our friend, our everything. You are great, you are mighty, you are holy. Oh God, we lift you up this afternoon. We praise you. We worship you, Lord. We give you thanks. You are the only true God. Beside you, there's no other God. Above you, nor before you, nor coming after you, nor beneath you, nor anywhere, Lord God. Is there another God? You are the sovereign one. We give you the honor, the praise, and the glory. We worship you and we give you thanks. We thank you, Lord God, for sparing our unworthy life. To be yet again in your house, Lord, we give you thanks. What a great God you are. What a mighty God you are. Hallelujah. We could be elsewhere today. We could be dead. We could be gone. Hallelujah. But for your mercies and your compassion, oh God, we are still in your house giving you thanks. And today as we come, we ask that your presence might be with us. We invite you, Lord God, to come into our midst and to bless us. We ask, Lord God, that you might look beyond our faults and see our needs. And that you might minister to every condition as we come today. We come, Lord God, for a blessing. We come, Lord Jesus, for a word from you. Lord, we need a word from you. Oh God, if we don't hear from you today, what will we do? We want you more each day to show us your perfect way. There is no other way that we can live. We thank you today, Lord Jesus, when we were yet sinners of the worst kind. You took us up from the guttermost condition. You brought us into fellowship. Oh God, you brought us into this full and free salvation. And you give us an inheritance among those who are saved and sanctified. We have all reason today to glorify your name. And so we won't cease to praise you today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As your presence envelop this praise. As your Holy Spirit deal with us, Lord, to burn out sin and dust. And to make us able to offer us, Lord God. Amen. We will give you the glory. We will give you the praise. We will give you the honor. Because you are the center of our worship. You are the center of our joy. You are the center of our peace, Lord. Your word said today that we are chosen of you. And we are special. And so today we come to give you, Lord God. Amen. The sacrifices of praise. And a special praise, God, for being our father. Many of us, Lord Jesus, are lacking in earthly fathers. But there is a God, hallelujah, who is a father to the fatherless and a friend to the friendless. And so we worship you today, oh God, because you saw it fit, Lord, to come down from your throne of splendor, to condescend to men of low estate, and to make your abode with us, Lord. We are grateful, hallelujah, hallelujah. We are grateful for your love and your mercies and your compassion. And so, Lord, today, all the praise, all the glory, all the honor belongs to your holy name. Bless us today, Lord Jesus. Walk, O oh God, down in this place. Hallelujah. Speak to your people. Touch, Lord God. Heal our sickness and diseases. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Raise up the, the, the hang down hands and the, the, the feeble knees. Hallelujah. Amen. The depressed soul. Amen. The hopeless and the cast down. We pray in the name of Jesus that your spirit of life, Lord, will saturate this place today. And somebody, oh God, might be blessed. Somebody's heart might be turned from sinfulness, from ungodliness, hallelujah, to worship in the true and living God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving us that inheritance and for giving us a place, Lord, where you are. Hallelujah. You are preparing a place for us. And you say you will go. And if you go and prepare a place for us, you will come again and receive us unto yourself that where you are, your people might be also. We are looking for that great day of redemption. Hallelujah. We are looking for that great salvation when you, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, shall manifest the fullness. Then we shall know. Then we shall understand. Oh, God, the things that we lack and suffer here. God, you will supply. Come down in your sweetness today. 
Come down in Lord in your glory. Come down, Lord Jesus, in your mercies and your compassion. Sweet Jesus, hallelujah. What a wonder you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your people today, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. From the least to the greatest. And I pray today for this community of Malton. Oh God, we pray for those that are on the street corners. Wherever they are today. In the field, in the gambling den, in the warehouse. And amen, wherever they make their abode, Lord. Hallelujah. Very special place. Send a word by the Spirit today. Hey, to saturate the heart of men and to bring them under conviction. Hallelujah. For we know that as long as the church stands, Lord, your presence is in this community. God, look beyond our faults. Hallelujah. Amen. And minister to those conditions. We pray for Jamaica. Oh God, a country that is beloved but yet so wretched and vile. Oh God, murders and rape and all kind of iniquity has been worked in this country. Had it not been for the church, had it not been for, oh God, the people are called out by your name. Oh, that will pray, hallelujah. Hallelujah. That will fast, that your hands might be stayed. Hallelujah. Then Lord Jesus will be destroyed. Oh God, we are not better than anybody. But because of your love and your mercies and your compassion. Yea, your God, Lord God, your hands is ho are, ho are held back. Oh God, but we pray Jesus for your mercies and your compassion. For our leaders in government and opposition. For those that are sick and at home and in the hospital. Those in the communities under the threat of violence. We stand in the gap for somebody today. Hallelujah. Somebody who is depressed. Somebody who is cast down. Somebody who is ready, Lord Jesus, to give up. In the name of Jesus, the church stands today, Lord God. And we make intercession that you might break the chain, now, oh God. That binds somebody today. That you might set the oppressed free. Hallelujah. Oh God, our government, Lord Jesus. Give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to lead your people in the right way. In the name of Jesus, we pray that you might open the windows of heaven and pour out some financial blessings and pour out, Lord Jesus, some spiritual blessing and pour out, Lord God, some social blessing on this nation of Jamaica. Break the yoke, Lord God, and the evil that will stay, Lord. Amen. In the, in the, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we ask today, Lord God, amen, that the demon spirit, oh God, and the all kind of wizard spirit, amen, the witch spirit, hallelujah, hey, the obia spirit, and all the spirit that will want to, amen, take root in our communities, we discharge them in the name of Jesus, amen, we use our apostolic authority in the name of Jesus, hey, hallelujah, we rebuke, Lord, we chase out in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, anything that is not of you, anything that opposes you, even in your sanctuary today, Lord, any spirit that comes here, hallelujah, to vaunt itself against you, in the name of Jesus, we pull down those strongholds, hey, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, hey, we discharge in the name of Jesus, hey, Holy Ghost, take over now, Oh God, hallelujah. We exalt you, Holy Spirit. We lift your Holy Spirit. This is your place, oh God. This is your sanctuary, Lord Jesus. Hey, do some cleansing in this place today. Walk, Lord Jesus. Cleanse, Lord. Hallelujah. Forgive, Lord. Hallelujah. Wash and make holy. Hail, oh Messiah. Hallelujah. Bless those that are listening on Radio Land today. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Some of them are held captive by the powers of sin and darkness. Echo Messiah. Hallelujah. But we pray for them today. That the burdens might be lifted. Hallelujah. That the wounds might be healed. That the sickness and diseases might be. Amen. Hallelujah. Healed. Amen. This morning. And that your people might be set free. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, saturate this, saturate this atmosphere now. Hey, Lord Jesus, this is your house. This is your house, Lord. This is your house of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Welcome. Hey, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come down in this place today, Lord, and bless your people, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And bring the hearts into the spirit of unity and pour out your anointing on somebody today. Oh God, we give you the praise and the honor and the glory and the thanks. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Oh, come, Messiah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Oh, come, Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And we say amen and amen and amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has spoken. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. At this time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to have the scripture reading at this time. And the scripture reading comes to us from 1 Peter chapter 2. Reading from verse 1 to verse 10. And I'm going to ask Anish Lewis to come and do that reading for us in Jesus' name. First Peter chapter 2, verse 1 to 10. Desire the sincere milk of the word that he may grow, whereby, if so be, he have tasted that the Lord is gracious, the homecoming of unto us, a living stone, is alive indeed of me, but chosen of God and precious. He also as lively stones are built up. A spiritual house and the Holy Spirit to the offer of spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture behold, I lay in a silent a chief cornerstone, that precious and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Unto you therefore which believe he is precious. But unto them which be disobedient, the stone which is the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner, and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble as the word being disobedient, where unto also they were appointed. But he are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people that he shall shew forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Ten and ending, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. This was the general portion of God's holy word we honor it by saying thanks be to God. God amen amen we thank Anish for conducting that part for us in Jesus name amen amen we're going to sing again from our song sheet the song just a little talk with Jesus I once was lost in sin but Jesus took me in and then a light from heaven filled my soul he bathed my heart in love and he wrote my name above and just a little talk with Jesus makes me whole. Amen. Hallelujah. I once was lost in sin, but Jesus took me in. Then a little light from heaven filled my soul. He bathed my heart in love, and he wrote my name above. And just a little talk with Jesus makes me whole. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about our troubles. Do you hear our faintest cry? Survive. 
Jesus makes him right. Let's go, verse one again. I once was lost in sin, but Jesus took me in, and then a light from heaven filled my soul. It made my heart in love, and He wrote my name above. I'm just a little talk with Jesus.
our troubles. Hallelujah. And not only do we tell him, but he hears and he answers. Hallelujah. 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 We thank the Lord Jesus. That's the God that we serve today. I wish we could just get excited when we sing these songs and we look at the words and, you know, it digs into our spirit. Hallelujah. We just get excited and start jump. Hallelujah. Because that's the God that we serve. Hallelujah. 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 At this time, I'm going to ask Evangelist Joseph Clark, teacher of the kinder class, to come and bring the greetings and welcome in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come on, let's continue to worship the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Everywhere you are, please stand on your feet right now and give the Lord a big praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is a beautiful atmosphere. Do we say amen to that? It is a beautiful atmosphere for worship. Hallelujah. And if we are so centered on worshiping today, in this kind of atmosphere, God will get the praises. And we know blessings will come down. Amen. And so we are going to do just that. We are going to praise the Lord. Don't think about the person that is sitting beside you. Because you haven't been here or some persons haven't been here for a while. And so forget about the person that is sitting beside you. And say, here's what. I am here to worship. Little children, it is your month and you are here to praise God. And so we are going to do just that. Amen? Amen. And so this morning I bring you greetings in the name of Jesus. I just want to thank the Lord for bringing us together into his house another time. Amen. God has been good to us and he has loved us with an everlasting love. That he couldn't have done nothing else than to give himself so that mankind could come again into his presence. Amen. And so today I want to greet you all. I want to welcome I want to greet our pastor, all the ministers, the officers, the saints, everyone that is here at this time, those who are on social media, YouTube, WhatsApp, the other, Facebook, we want to greet you and we want to welcome you to our service in Jesus' name. I hope that you will have a beautiful day because in God's presence there is fullness of joy. Amen. And wherever you are, whether here or there, you can praise the Lord. If you are in your houses, you can jump up from corner to corner and you can praise the Lord. Amen. And we are in the assembly today. If you feel like running, skipping, jumping, praising the Lord, that's what we are here for. Amen. And so today we are going to do just that. We want to make mention of those on social media, Shelly Ellis. Wendy Brown, Myrna Solv, Jennifer Morgan, Everton Morgan, Nikisha Allen, Renee, Memor Memories, Beverly Smith, and Judy Bennett. And we know there are many others on social media. And so we want to welcome you. We want to thank you for worshiping with us because there are so many other avenues, so many other places that you could have been. But you chose to be with us in Malta, and we want to say thank you. And we want to say that continue to worship Jesus because he is going to reward you according to your work. Have a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Have a beautiful day in the presence of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Continue to praise Jesus. Amen. Amen. It's Sunday school month. Amen. And so at this time, I'm going to ask Sister Christy Lee Morgan. Amen. She's going to do an item for us and she's going to come at this time and do that presentation in Jesus' name. Amen. Make Sister Christy Lee welcome. Amen. <laughs> 
Amen. And we're just going to continue and sing this one chorus. Amen. I want us all to stand and we're all going to praise the Lord together. Verse 10 of the, the, the scripture, it says we are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that he showed that he should show forth the praises of him who, who has called us out of darkness into marvelous light so we were once a people in darkness but because god has chosen us and make us special guess what we are the people of light so we are going to sing and rejoice and give god thanks in this song i saw the light no more in darkness no more in night now i'm so happy no sorrows in sight praise the lord i saw the light hallelujah
people of light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. As we anticipate the word now, the preacher is going to come. Hallelujah. You may have wanted to sing that song some more. Hallelujah. But just meditate on the words that when you're in your seat there. Hallelujah. You have a need to shout out and say, thank you, Jesus, for the light. While the preacher is up here, then that's all right. Hallelujah. But we want to make time for the word. Hallelujah. And at this time, our evangelist Marlon Lewis, a young man of God, amen, is going to come with the word. Also teacher of the junior class in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Receive him now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. <laughs> special month, amen, the, sun, the school month, and today the junior and the kindergarten are in charge of this service, so that's why I am here today, amen, amen, amen. praise God, but nevertheless, um, as we are here, we are just here to praise the Lord, amen, amen. let me just welcome and greet our pastor, Pastor Channel. The all the rest of ministers, saints of God, visiting friends, those who are on their social media, just want to greet you in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Amen. As I stand before you today, there is a topic or a theme that is, amen, chosen. Amen. And I don't want to shift from it because that is the theme that we are, amen, looking on and we can exalt from it, we can teach from it, and we can preach from it. Right, Ella? Praise God. But today, I'm going to encourage us, amen, from the word of God. Praise God. Amen. And the, the topic tells us that, amen, it is, I am chosen of God, and I'm special. Praise God. And before I go into the message, many persons will, will understand that we are chosen because for God so loved the world, so he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Praise God. So we were chosen because God gave him son himself that we can have life praise God so when I look at the topic we can all say that we are chosen but the person who come up with this topic it he also add something to it I'm chosen and special so when I think about it I say okay that means I can be chosen but not special hallelujah amen and uh, when I think about it uh, I would want to be just chosen and not special any one of you would want that praise God amen so we are all here to be special amen but the truth of the fact is that special things come with a price and it's our value. Amen? Praise God. So be, to, to be special, as I said, it comes with And it's also our value. To be chosen, we all 
know that we are chosen by God. But when I think about it, I say, okay, the thing that we are to realize is that we can be chosen, but we don't decide to take on the, the privilege of being chosen. Or I should otherwise say, we can be chosen, but we don't accept to be chosen. But in, in this, praise God, hallelujah, to be chosen, we also had to make a choice. Because if somebody chose to be my friend, and I choose not, we cannot be friends. Hallelujah. So we have that privilege, our freedom of choice, to choose if we want to be special. So let us move a bit from being chosen because we all are chosen. But to be special is another thing. And to be special, there is something that we need to do to be qualified for that position praise god in the presence of god there is something that we ought to do and there is it's simple because we all know it can i hear amen okay so the first thing to get us qualified we need to be repented of our sins baptized in jesus name and in filling of the holy ghost that's the first step of being special. It don't stop there. But that is what qualifies us to be special. Praise God. So being chosen and not special, we still lack something in our Christian walk. Yeah. But the, 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 the writer is saying to us today that even though we have chosen And to be special, we have to do just more than the norm. So, when I think about it, I say, okay, to be a special person, I want to be special. And I feel good when somebody says good things about me. I don't know about you. So, to be a good Christian, that will qualify me to be special. If somebody comes and says, I like this brother because of the way that he lived, and, and the way that he conduct himself, you know, I feel good to say, yes, you know, somebody think of me as some special person. And when God can look on us and say, yes, uh, I have invested in him because the choice that I make to follow Jesus, that is what will qualify me to be special. Praise God. Because I realize that you can have five, six children, but there is one that is special than the other. Why? Because that one, he listens to you. He understands you. He obeys you. And he's also a friend of yours. So to be a special person in the presence of God, we have to have a relationship with God. So having a relationship with God that will make us special because we will do the things that pleases God. Hallelujah. So God wants us to be special, but we have to push up. We have to move up a bit from just being chosen. We have to understand who God is and what he requires of us. So I'm here to let you know that God wants you to be special. But you have to do the things that makes you special. If we consider what is special. If in our lives we have things that we hold dear to us. It's special. Because of some reason. Perhaps you may get it from somebody who is important. Perhaps it have been, it, it, have, it have a value, it comes with a price. So you, so you protect it and, and you value it because of the, of the price that it came with. So I'm here to let you know that God has bought us with a price. 
Hallelujah. And that price that he, he bought us with, it is very valuable because he gave his life for you and I. So we can have this privilege to be somebody special. Because the writer was reminding us that we were in darkness. We were nobody to say. We were like the dogs. But because God gave himself for us, we can be special in his sight. So, the, 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 as I said before, to be qualified for that position, we have to put value on our life. We have to make a choice to follow Jesus. Praise God. And the writer is saying to us in verse 9 that uh, um, we are called out of darkness into marvelous light. Praise God. As us children of God, we are called out of the throne feel of sin to show forth his praises. So as we are here in the presence of God, we need to understand, yes, we are qualified to be somebody that is special in the presence of God. Today I realize that, yes, you see what the devil does, you know, he don't want us to know that the, 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 the power or the privilege that we had. So it, it is very important, as, as the, the, the writer said, that we, we we, as we would come to Christ, we were like newborn babes. We desire the sincere milk of the word. And sometimes we hear some things and we just run with it because we didn't, we didn't sit down and listen and learn the way of God. Because when I was out there in the sin, I always hear people say, we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. And I know of a fact that, yes, that is so. But I realize that, yes, even though I was born in sin and I was shaped in iniquity, but what God come and he gave himself for us, he paid a price that I can have life and have it more abundantly. So what Jesus did, he came and he died for you and me. And he did not just stop there. Because he said, yes, you know can be special, but you have to make a choice. And the choice that you have to make, you need to put away the things, that lay aside the sins that easily beset us. We need to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. And we need to live a life that is pleasing unto him. Today, God wants us to be special. But yes, we need to do something. I, I, I look at myself and I think that, okay, because I, I, I don't understand stand before. I think that to be a Christian is just something that okay, I can just be baptized and that's it. I can just receive the gifts of the Holy Ghost and that's it. That, that, that is not the, 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 full, the full package. We need to be special because guess what? If you're not special, the devil can just come and eat you, you're not easily identified because so, when something is special, it, is, it, it had a mark. You can identify it and it, it is very rare. Because when things are special, you don't see it everywhere. You, 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 you don't come in contact with that thing. Even if you have something that is special, you put it away. So you protect it so much that even sometimes you don't even realize where you place it. Because you don't want anything to happen to it. So you put it up very careful. But God wants to protect us. And every time we realize that we move away from God, we expose to the enemy. And we want to blame somebody. But the blame is ours because one God wants us to be special. All we have to do is choose God because choosing God that will qualify us for the special position. Today I'm saying to you and I that to be special you need to choose God. Don't stay in here and say, "Okay, I am chosen by God." So that is enough. No, that's not enough because to be just chosen that's the norm. The sinner man is chosen. The unsaved, the backsider 
every one of us is chosen, but to be special is to be called out and say, yes, this is a child of God. Yes, you are a child of God. And the, the, the pen is the, the writer saying to us that we are a royal priesthood. And I realize that royalty, it comes with a mark. If you go up into king's house and you see the king and the queen, you don't have to ask the servant, where is the king? You don't have to question it because guess what? The apparel that they just in, you can know them by the way that they carry themselves. As a children of God, we need to be identified because you never see a queen just in a tent and a chart chart. So as children of God, people need to see us and identify us because we need to walk in our calling. Sometimes as Christian people see us and they have to ask, are you a Christian? Come on. You need to be identified because you are chosen. You are royal. Come on. Royal people need to be stand out. Come on. I'm chosen. But I'm also special. Come on. If you are chosen, I'm sorry for you. But you mean special. God consider you to be his friend. You are his workmanship. So I am qualified for that position. You to have that ability. You the access to be qualified but what you need to do is to be humble learn at Jesus feet don't come up and say I am a big man so I go what I wear I want to go I do what I want to do it's not so let I tell you something I have never seen the queen before with my two eyes because they are not allowed to go any and everywhere I have not seen Prince Charles before the only way I see them is on television or in the newspaper to us children of God we have to be careful where we go and what we do because we need to understand that we are royal we are peculiar so we need to stand up in our position walk in our calling sometimes the devil say move away because nothing is going on over here but I have news for you over there is no way better than over here you want to be special. The special things, as I said before, is not regular. It's not common. It's very rare. But everybody want that, but guess what? You have to work for it. It don't come easily. It comes with a price. So today I'm here to remind you, I'm talking about special people. I want to be special, but I have to put myself in that place to be special. Job was a special man of God because guess what? God consider him when the devil was walking to and fro the earth he said have you considered my servant Job so I'm saying to you today can God depend on you can God say have you considered my servant Marlon and everybody want to know why you're special because jealousy is something that people, uh, it's come natural. I don't know. Sin come with jealousy. So when some people know that you're special, they want to try you. They want to test you to see what makes you special. But I'm here to tell you, you need to stand in the presence of God. You need to know that you're royal. And don't let nobody steal your joy. Because the devil will mess with your mind. The devil will tell you, say, oh, come to your special. And you're going to hell. But you need to tell the devil that I'm going to hell but I'm not staying there I'm just going to but if you watch me see what God do in my life you won't know that I was there but guess what God looked behind my force and he realized that yes I have chosen to walk with him so because of that reason he chose me to be special you are chosen to be special but as I said before you need to walk in your calling don't stay there and say yes I'm chosen that's not enough To be accepted, as I said before, you, you, you have to meet up to the criteria. Come on, church. We need to live a life that is pleasing to God. Come on, can God, you know, sometimes we are in church and every day we, are, we, we give so much trouble that the evil pastor, some, the, the church sometimes is under burden because of the things that we do. But yet still we want to consider it as special children. No, you need to be better. And you need to do better than what you are doing now. You can't be doing any and everything and expected 
that you are in this pressure list. God is going to prepare a place. And he's going to prepare it not for just any and everybody. He's going to prepare it for a people that is special. I am special. I don't care what you want to say. But to you, you can be special too. Don't, 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 don't feel offended when I say I am special. Because this privilege is also yours to be special. I uh, know of a fact. Such salvation is an individual thing. But it's not limited to just you and you and I. It is for every one of us who choose to walk therein. So I'm here to tell you today. God wants you to be special. But you have to walk in your calling. You can't just stay where you are and have your own mindset. And the devil will play with your mind and tell you, say, you don't have to do this because uh, other people are not doing it. Sometimes you pick on the wrong person to follow. Sometimes you pick on the wrong person to be your mentor. You need to pick on Jesus. Sometimes the devil messes with your mind. And what he tells you is that your, your, and your neighbor is doing this to you and your neighbor is doing that to you. But you need to have Jesus as your neighbor. So when they point finger, they point it on Jesus. And say, look what Jesus did. Look what Jesus did when he washed me. My neighbor, he had been blessing me. My neighbor is King Jesus. Come on, we need to understand. Royalty have conditions. So as royal people, come on. We need to stay in our royalty. We need to walk in our place. Come on, we need to stand up and be counted. Because as I said before, royalty, royal people don't go in certain places. Hallelujah. So as children of God, as peculiar people, we have to know that we don't go down certain places. Hallelujah. Can I speak a little, sir? Uh, we don't have to go down because some people, guess which way they walk? They walk on Lion Street. They walk in Fornication Avenue. They walk in adulterous. That road is not for royal people. You need to walk in praise lane. You need to walk on glory avenue. You need to go down to love lane and show some more love. Show some more godliness in the... Hallelujah. Stand up and be special. Yes. You can't tell yourself that you're special. The works that you do make you special. Yes. It's not a moting. It's not something that you can just come and I am special because I'm wonderfully and beautiful and wonderful and beautifully made. Yes, uh, but you need to be counted as special people. Yes. The cinnamon can come and say, I am chosen. Yes, yes. but is he special in the sight of God? You don't reach that standard until you put on Jesus. You need to bury in his name. Because the problem that we have, you know, most people, we don't want to speak in tongues. We don't want to run up and jump up and let people know that we are a child of God. But I'm here to tell you, you're not going to be qualified until you accept the principle of God. Until you walk in the way that God wants you to walk. You won't be special. But special people have a special praise. Hallelujah. Special people have a special place to go. Because God said, God, to prepare a place. And where he is, there you will be also. So I want to walk on Glory Avenue. So I'm going to make sure that I do what pleases God. God. I'm going to make sure that when he call, my name will be on the special list because there will be a book and there will be another one. But I want my name to be on the special list to say well done. That list is the special list but the other list is not so much special because I'm sorry for you and I if we don't make it on the special list. Walk in our calling. God wants you to be special. Yes. That's why he called us out of darkness into this marvelous light. And many of us, we come into this light and we want to go back in darkness. Oh God, help. And the darkness and the light can't work together. Because the light will comprehend the darkness. 
But you need to know which one you choose. Because if you choose, it can't balance out. Uh -huh. So if you try to carry the light into darkness and you go further in it, the darkness will cover the light. Because if you have one liquid light in a big cloud of darkness, you can't see that light. And many of us, we walk back in that darkness and expected that our light will be keep shining. But I have news for you. You're not at the right place. You need to walk in your calling. As a holy people, you need to stand up and be counted. Let your garments be spotless. Let somebody look and say, yes, that one is special. He has been to the water. He has been to the flood. He has been to the, the fire. But that's what makes you special. When everything is against you and you stand up for God, that's what makes you special. When you don't turn your back against God, that's what makes you special. Because the, the, the God that we serve, he said he's going to prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemy. So sometimes God has to put you in some place to show forth his glory. Sometimes God has to put us in some place to protect us also. Because sometimes when he locked us away, we think that it's something bad is happening. But it's for a better cause. Because sometimes he knew that when he took us out, The enemy can't touch us. If you're not special today, you can be special. But you need to choose to walk in your calling. God wants you to be special. So don't stay there and say, I'm special because I say I'm special. No. That don't make you special. It don't say, the team said that you're special, that don't make you special. That's a lie if you think that you're special that way. But when you walk in the will of God, that will make you special. And I can say one more thing before I close. Salvation is so valuable. And you don't understand that because guess what? Every day that you, 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 you keep salvation, it has more value to it. Because salvation is like, what, what should I say? Salvation is like, it's an investment. And it's also like, a, um, when, when you put the, these things in, in, in the morning mom, no, and, and have them as not just stock. No, we're not going in the stocks. Praise God, you can lose out in stocks. But it is, salvation is so valuable. You know, and, and it's like an antique. That's the word that I'm looking for. It's like an antique. Every day, the press add to it. And, and, and when, when, when the press add to it, guess what? Sometimes it's just there in the showcase. Just to show for the glory and, and, and the price. And that is what we should take our salvation to be. Something like an antique. Every day, the, 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 the price goes up. But it's not for sale. All you can eat because it's priceless. All you have to say, okay. Um, the more you live in salvation, hallelujah. That the more price is given to you. Yes. So it's priceless. It cannot be, it cannot be bought. No silver, no gold. No money can buy it. So we need to, 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 to preserve our salvation, man. Every day, it has more value to it. So it's a win-win for us. Nothing to lose. More investment. More, 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 more. The more we have it, the more it's better for us. Hallelujah. And it's more, we are more closer to God. Hallelujah. So today, I'm just encouraging us to be special. God bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What a what a word, what a word, what a word, what a word. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. I like I like that part of it. I like everything, but I like the part about the auntie. Amen. Praise God. It's coming from far. It's it's my father's inheritance. I can't sell it, 
He can't swap. Hallelujah. He can't exchange. Oh, God is in the showcase and every day the price go up. And everybody come and look on it. I would like it, but them can't buy it. Oh! Somebody says priceless. Hallelujah. Oh, God is priceless. It's priceless. It's priceless. Amen, amen, amen. And it gets, it, gets, it gets sweeter and sweeter every day. It gets more beautiful every day because, amen, the, 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 the value changes. Hello, 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 hello. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm precious. I'm precious. I'm special. I'm chosen. Amen. Um, when, you, when you introduce yourself these days, you can tell somebody, when they say, I'm John, you say, I am chosen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then you say, what? What did you say? I'm special. Hallelujah. Chosen and special. Amen. And we have to live. We have to live in. We have to live in our calling. Jesus loves us and invests so much in us. And sometimes we not care. We just not care. No, sir. May I protect it with my very life. Because that's what you have above the devil, you know. And that's what he doesn't like about you. The devil doesn't like that about you because you're elevated and God elevates you. Praise God and put value on you. Amen. Sometimes you are nothing to the man out there, to the woman out there, to your family out there. Nothing. You never mean. And when you come into Jesus Christ, then you become somebody, pick me. Amen. Somebody start count you. Hallelujah. And God start put one word that you out and you start talk like you didn't go to college or university. Amen. Praise God. Oh God, you go to some churches and people go to university and become doctor. Them can't preach a message like this. Uh, they write them write a little sermon and them 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 tip on them toe and uh, hallelujah. Praise God. We, we give God thanks. What a great God. What a great God. Amen. We should all be standing up on our feet um, and giving God praise. Amen. 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 Nobody no put nobody no, nobody can put you anywhere. When you when you're born of God, nobody can put you anywhere. When you're precious, nobody can put you anywhere. Because the pastor said Jesus is your neighbor. When I'm a point and say your neighbor, then not Jesus them attack. And you just look upon them and say, But the only neighbor may have is Jesus because he walks with me. And he talks with me, and he tells me I'm his own, and the joys we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. And I'm a pine for, and you said, No, I care him because of him set me up. So you're going to talk about my neighbor. I do this, and my neighbor, I do that. Go away with it. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise the I'm living close to Jesus on glory avenue. We walk and talk together as all the neighbors do. We share such sweet communion. We fed. The sheep is true. I'm glad I live beside him on glory avenue. Yes, Jesus is my neighbor, the best friend of all. He's there. No. 
somebody listening to us on, on, on Facebook live or somebody in the congregation or somebody might even be outside of the building. Hallelujah. You have been living like a, 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 a second class citizen. Hallelujah. Amen. And you know you were not born to live that way. Yes. But Jesus came into the picture and Jesus changed our citizenship. Everybody wants to go to the USA or Canada or the UK. But let me tell you something, there is a citizenship that is given away, praise God, and it doesn't cost all the yes, hassle, it doesn't yes. cost all the fuss. You know, some people got visas to go overseas um, from way up in the year, some of them from last year, and they are just now giving those persons, one or two of them, the visas. They had them put down up in Kingston, never issued them out. And I understand, I was talking to my daughter, and she told me that um, for the embassy, if you're going to the embassy for a visa, your appointment is one year plus away. Did you hear what I said a while ago? If you have an appointment at the embassy for a visa or to renew your visa, your appointment is one year and more away. So if you go up there tomorrow, they will give you an appointment which is more than a year away. Did you know that? You don't know. I'm telling you, praise God. Hallelujah, to get a visa to go overseas. But when you walk into Jesus' presence and you say, God, I want to move in with you. Yes. Hallelujah. Come on, talk to me, man. I want to move in with you. No Hallelujah. No hassle. He said, come, my child. There's room at the cross and there's room for many more. Praise God. And you might be wondering, amen. It's, I am available. I am, I am qualified when I'm qualified. What is he saying to you today? Yes, the price is paid. It's settled. Price paid and it's settled. I'm calling somebody today if you love the Lord. Yeah. And you want to change your situation. Changing your location. 
to your mansion in the sky. Jesus is calling you. Come let us pray with you before we close this service. We have a little time because the, the hours change from 2 o'clock to a little later. Amen. So we can speak with you a little longer. Praise God. Can you come? Everybody just stand for me, please. Stand. Everybody stand. If you're not a Christian, if you're not saved, this is our Sunday school month. And Sunday school is a birthing place for, for people who want to love the Lord. Many of us were born in Sunday school. And amen. This is an opportunity for you to renew your life with Jesus Christ. If you're a backslider if you have not been living the way God wants you to live we still have some room at the altar there's room at the cross I'm changing my location to my mansion in the sky sister, sister um, Newton you know that one uh, God it, 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 get ready to move you know it get ready to move uh, I, I love those songs I just can't sing them amen uh, you know them I'm changing my location to my final destination I'm changing my location to my mansion, mansion in the sky. sky. Girl, Gonna wear some new robes and a shining white robe. Walk around in new shoes. Get ready to move. Get ready to move. I am changing my location for my Come on, mansion. It's out your call. It's out your call. Let us pray with you. I'm changing. To my mansion. I wanna wear some new clothes. And a shiny white robe. Walk around in new shoes. Get ready to move. Get ready to move. So I'm changing my location. I'm changing. Come, we want to pray with you today. I am my location to my final destination. I'm changing my location to my mansion in the sky. I'm going to wear some new clothes and a shining white robe. Everything uh, about you is new because you're special. When God calls you, amen, he dresses you up in special clothing. Everything is special about you. A new coat of this and a new coat of that, it changes your, 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 your mental, amen, capacity, your, your, your intellectual, oh God, I can't even say it, but it changes everything about you. And if you have found yourself in a position today that you don't look special in God's sight, let us pray with you. Come on, we want to we wanna just... Amen. Pray with somebody. We know that you are, you are there, you are there, you are there. Amen. And God wants to, amen, amen, take you back to himself as, as his own. Praise God. Come let us pray with you. Come let us pray with you. You're not saved. Come let us pray with you. Amen. Come let us, just walk, walk. Amen. And, and church, we have to, we have to, we have to travel in the spirit. Come on. Your eyes should be amen and the spiritual thing come on we have to travel in the spirit praise god there's a spirit thing now amen we have to take it to another 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 level in jesus christ it's the holy ghost that is going to do the drawing it's not us don't look at anybody you know you don't have to look around and see who is moving praise god you just need to just stand up and say god touch somebody's heart no and travel in the spirit 
You can just stand right there at the altar. Hallelujah. We're going to pray with you. Amen. We have to take you to that next level because, amen, the level that God operates on is a level of specialty, right, preacher? Is a level of specialty. He doesn't keep you as an ordinary person. He elevates you, amen, into the kingdom of his dear son. And it's a spiritual operation. Can we pray with somebody? Huh? Can we travel with somebody? Come on now. He's a Holy Ghost that is going to do all of this. God, we can't do the drawing. If I could do the drawing, praise God. You know how much people will be in this church today. He's over 20 something years of ministering in Malta. And this place will be full and running over. We'd have to go upstairs and, and maybe across there, son across more it, amen if people if i was attracting people to church but the power of god is able to do exceedingly abundantly that we could ever think or ask of him and i pray that god will just touch somebody's heart and convert you hallelujah from being that second class citizen that that man or that woman is making you that boy is making you that parent is making you that one that is telling you that you're nothing hallelujah when you know you're somebody hallelujah Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Is there another person? Just one more. Just one more. God is speaking to your heart. Amen. Somebody has been telling you that you are, amen, just suitable for their purpose. Amen. They tell you that you're sweet and you're this and you're that. That not make you anybody. If they tell you that you're, you're nice, I don't want to use that word, but um, because there are kids in this place, praise God, all them tell you is that you are that. Start with X. I end with Y. Huh? That's not what that's not what God created you as. Praise God. Huh? And they tell you that and they make you, you make you feel good. Let me tell you when 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 that done, you're nothing. Hallelujah. And God says you're much more than that. You're beautiful, fearfully, and wonderfully made. Precious. Hallelujah. Hey! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And somebody has been crowding your mind with the carnal things. Hallelujah. Shake it off today. Break free. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, you're not traveling with me today. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. The preacher has broken down, broken down the barriers. But we need to jump over them. Come on. I said the preacher break down the barriers. Hey! Hallelujah. And it's the spirit now that is going to draw them over the barrier. Hallelujah. Oh, church, let us travel in the spirit. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Oh! There's, 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 there's somebody that needs to be drawn over the threshold. Praise God, the barriers are broken down. Amen. But somebody needs to be drawn over that threshold. Oh, somebody that is ready to give up. Somebody that is ready to abandon their faith. Somebody that is ready to sell out. Hallelujah. Hey. Let us, let us, let us pray with you. Amen. For Jesus, break every fetter. He breaks every fetter. Come on. And there's a fetter to be broken. Hallelujah. Amen. Just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Hallelujah. Just a little talk with Jesus. Amen. When you feel a little fire is burning, you know the little prior wheel is turning. Amen. Then just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Come on, you can pray. Those of you at the altar, you can pray. Amen. Hallelujah. When you were lost in sin, then Jesus took me in. That is me. And you don't have that testimony. So if you don't have that testimony, you need to get that testimony this afternoon. Just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Come on. One more person. Come on. And the Holy Ghost is calling you. Come. The Spirit is calling you. Hallelujah. Amen. The barriers are broken and you need to walk over the threshold. One other person. One. Just one. Just one. Just one. And Jesus said he will leave the 90 and 9. And he will go right across the hills and the valleys. And we find that one lost sheep. Hallelujah. Just one. Just one. Amen. Hallelujah. You're struggling. You're struggling. Amen. Ready to give up. Don't make. Don't. Don't. Look here. You're struggling. You're struggling. Hallelujah. And somebody's telling you that. Amen. You look good. And, oh God. You look good. You look good. Ah. You look good because that's what they say you look. But does Jesus say you look good? 
That's what they're putting in your ears every day. You look good, you look good, you look good. But let me tell you something, when you look good and the life gets out of you, and you go down in the grave before you go down there, amen, worms start to eat that body. Praise God, and after a few, a few, a few hours, you're nothing. They don't even call you a person anymore. They call you a what? A body. Let us pray with you. We have a little time that we can, we can, we can, we can talk to you. Plea with you earnestly and plea with you gently and tell you of Jesus the mighty to save one person. I think you're struggling. Hallelujah. Just admit to yourself that you're struggling, struggling, struggling. Praise God. But Jesus cares. Come on, let us pray with you. Come on. Yeah, we're gonna have a little talk with Jesus now. Have a little talk with Jesus. Come, you, you need to have a little talk with him. Come, let us pray with you. God of all gods, King of all kings, Lord of all lords, the Holy One and the Exalted One. There's no God like you. Thank you There's none, O oh God, a greater God as you are. You are touched with the feelings of our infirmities. In every point you are as tempted as we were, yet without sin. So Lord, you are able to succor. Hallelujah. We ask you now, Jesus, hallelujah, to come, Lord, and look at your children at the altar. Hallelujah. They are yours. They belong to you, Lord. You are the head of this church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And salvation is of you. We thank you, Jesus, for loving us more than how we love ourselves. But we pray now, God, that you might, amen, extend your, your favor, extend your grace, Lord, to those at the altar. In the name of Jesus, we pray, God, amen, against the powers of evil that fights against your children, that wrestle against your children, that would bring them into captivity, Lord, and into bondage. Amen. Your blood was shed on Calvary's cross for the freedom of your people. Even those who are at the altar now, even those who are on, amen, Facebook, Lord, hallelujah. Amen. That, oh God, are the desires of your saving power and your grace, Lord, to pull them out of their 
present condition and to elevate them into the kingdom of your dear sons. Oh God, we pray as they have a little talk with you now that God, you might walk into your present in their presence as you walk, Lord, into the presence of these two men on the Emmaus Road. Hallelujah! Amen. As you commune with them, as you spoke with them, yes, Amen, Lord. Lord. They said, "Did not we, Amen, feel, oh God, Hallelujah? Did not we feel that 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 specialty when He walked with us, that burning desire in us? Hallelujah! Let somebody now feel that burning inside of them, Lord." Amen. To show God that your presence, amen, is, is, is burning out sin and dross and is transforming their life, Lord God. Amen. Into a new creation and a brand new person. In the name of Jesus, as they cast their cares on you, we pray, God, that you might care for them, that you might sustain them. Oh, God, that you might speak to them, their doubts and their fears. Speak to them, Lord God. Amen. Hallelujah. Take away their disobedient heart, Lord, their rebellious heart, their heart of stone. In the name of Jesus, reveal your truth, reveal your righteousness, reveal, Lord Jesus, justice. Hallelujah. Amen. And equity and right to them right now. In the name of Jesus, cause them to turn. Let them understand, Lord God, that you're coming back again. And your coming is near at hand. We pray for them in the name of Jesus. That they might be loose now in the name of Jesus. Set the oppressed free. Hallelujah. Break, Lord God. Oh, God, the chain that binds somebody at the altar. Fill somebody with the Holy Ghost power and anointing now. Hey, Lord Jesus, save for your name's sake. Save for your kingdom's sake. In the name of Jesus, touch that mind that is confused. Touch that mind. Amen of that person. Oh my, hallelujah. That is thinking that you are less than who you say they are. In the name of Jesus. Touch that person whose mind is, is poisoned, Lord, by the devil. Hallelujah. Because he's looking, oh God, for something. Hey! Hallelujah. And he has poisoned that mind. Oh! What he offers, Lord, leads to death. But what you offer leads to life. Hallelujah. And life eternal. Touch now. Touch now. Touch now, Holy Ghost. Touch now, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Touch now, Holy Spirit. Do our work, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And save to the utmost. We thank you for today, Lord. We thank you for your leading and your direction. We thank you for your people who have come. We thank you for your people who are not able to be here. We thank you for those that are listening in. Oh, God, we pray for a blessing, Lord, when they rise up tomorrow. Oh, God, for the coming week, we pray, God, that what they put their hand to, amen, might turn to gold. We pray a blessing on their lives, Jesus. Yes, Lord. We speak it now, Jesus. Hallelujah. That they might not be afraid or timid, Lord. They might not be cast down. But lift up somebody's spirit. Help somebody to walk, Lord, in that freedom that you have put them in. Amen. With authority. And to claim, Lord Jesus, what is rightfully theirs. Their inheritance, Lord. They might be able to claim that inheritance in you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, God, we give you praise and we give you the honor and the glory. And we thank you for your leading and your direction. Go with us now as we save one from another. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let this church, the church say, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Come and open your mouth and say, in Jesus' name. Your will be done, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, take over now. In the name of Jesus. Even now, Lord. Even now. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. And Facebook, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Right now, Jesus. Touch somebody. Speak to somebody. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now may the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the comfort, the rest, remain. Hallelujah. Now and forevermore till Jesus comes again. Let us all say, Amen. Amen. And for those of you who have come to the altar before you leave and you desire to give your, Lord, your life to the Lord, speak to us. Amen. Anybody here want to give themselves to Jesus Christ? Just put up your hand and let us see. Put your hands up. 
willing to give your life to the Lord? God bless you. Um, yes, yes, well, thank you very much. And, and we're praying for you that you will be saved and saved in the fullness of time. God bless you in Jesus' name. Don't go, please sit. We're going to ask at this time for the secretary to come and to give the announcement in Jesus' name. And um, for, for our children, maybe, maybe everybody, we have a little snack for you, so don't go. Wait. For those of you who have brought your tithes and your offering, we're asking you to just um, give it at this time, your, uh, your tithes and your offering. God bless you. Um, those of you who are on Facebook Live, we, we still appreciate your contributions. And we want to just ask you to look on your screen. There is um, some numbers on your screen. We're asking you to, if you have an issue, praise God, and a need for salvation or any clarity in the words of God, you can call those numbers. And we're asking you also, if you so desire to contribute to our, uh, our ministry, we're opening um, up and we have work to do. We have a hall of the top there that we are is coming to completion we know that we have to reopen so we are asking you our bank account um, at jamaica national in mandeville is listed and also we have a cash app um, that is showing on the screen we're asking you if you so desire and we really want you to contribute to our our, our ministry praise god you can give your offering and if you pay tithes and, and you don't have a church that you pay tithes to, then we also appreciate you contributing to this to this um, ministry. We have an internet service that we um, have to pay for, and we 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 would like you to contribute. Praise God, because any little bit that you can you contribute, God will bless you, and we are grateful for it. God bless you. Thanks. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus, other, other announcements, because you have been given all of that information already. Just to say special thanks to those who continue to worship with us and those who have joined us for the first time. We have some persons who were not ac acknowledged before. We just want to say thank you for joining and worshiping with us today. We have Sarja Burton, Carol Sangster, Marcia Brooks-Brown, June Charlton, Everton Morgan, and Aisha. And Everton is also requesting prayer for himself and his family. So these persons, along with those who may not have identified yourself, but you are worshiping with us today, we are grateful that you chose to worship with us today, and we pray that God will continue to bless you. Also, we have a special prayer request, Sister Myrtle and the Smith family, Special prayer is being requested for them. And also, last week we announced that Sister Miracle wasn't feeling well. This week I'm told that she's feeling a little better. But we need to continue to pray for her. Also, there's a special prayer request for Mr. Hutchinson, who is in the University Hospital of the West Indies. And when I left this morning, Mama wasn't feeling so well. But she said she'll be fine. So I just want us to continue to pray for her as well. We have in invitations from the Cotis Penchal Apostolic Church. They'll be having their fasting and evangelistic conference um, from July 18 through to July 21. Linders Road will be having three nights of revival services from July 14 through to July 16 on Zoom. And Goshen Youth Week starts today and goes until Wednesday. So we can tune in to these as they come upon us. Um, for this week, the funeral service for Celia, that's Sister Donnett's aunt, and Brother White's sister, and Brother Daly's relative also. The funeral will be on Tuesday at 12 o'clock at Far Enough. So we want to continue to pray for the family. We'll be having no YP tonight. Tonight should be our youth meeting night. 
and we won't have any tonight due to circum certain circumstances. However, this is set for next week, Sunday, God willing, and the topic will be, there will be a panel discussion. The topic will be identity crisis, learning who I am, and uh, the scripture is Jeremiah 1, verse, what, verse 5, sorry. So we can re read up and prepare to identify crisis and to learn who you are. If you don't know yet, we were reminded today that we are chosen and we are special. But in case we are having problems still, then we'll be having a discussion on next week's Sunday night with regards to that. Tuesday night, we'll be having Bible class on Google Meet. And Wednesday will be our fasting. Please try and come out for fasting on Wednesday. And Sunday, adult class, you are in charge of service. Sunday school month continues. And Sunday, the adult class will be in charge. So please, adults, make yourselves available for that. Um, some persons may have been wondering. But um, I believe that we will continue with the 10 o'clock service because we have persons who are online who are tuned in and they have set aside this time for service. So church still starts at 10 o'clock, even though we have a little longer time. All right? So next week, Sunday service would start at 10 o'clock as usual. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And of course, if you have nothing else to do, remember to pray for someone. Remember to stay safe. Yes, it's opened up a little more, which is why we need to be a little more careful. Make sure you wear your mask and make sure you do proper sanitization and the social distancing. God bless you. Have a wonderful week in Jesus' name. Thank you. The benediction was already done. So we are a chosen generation called for to show his excellence. All I require for life God has given me. I know who I am. We are a chosen. We are